the night before he died, right? Maybe. Because I got an interview with you on tape that uh, somebody, Therese Coe, did where you say that uh, he was zonked out on quaaludes and you had to carry him to his bed, like the night before he died. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've forgotten about that. And he was basically just babbling here. Victor was around, too. Victor Barker. Yeah. I don't know. I had a big crush on Gabrielle for a while, and then they had like broken up, and then I started going out with her, and then Tom wanted her back, and so he, he got her. You, he made you edit her during that period, didn't he? Uh, I was editor for like six weeks, I think. Um, but didn't Tom promote you while you were going down with Gabrielle? It was a strange, passive-aggressive move. Well, he, we never had a problem, it, it was, we never really, it never even, we never even talked about it, you know? Uh, but I, I didn't really, you know, I mean, it was just a, it was a crazy thing because when she left to go back to Tom, then I started going out with her best friend. And I really had got a, like a really big crush on her best friend, and uh, but that didn't work out. Cheryl, do you remember her? I wasn't around back then. Uh, I didn't show up till a few years later. But, uh, um, I don't know. I think I told. I don't. Know, this is all very hazy, but I mean. I remember telling Gabrielle to get rid of the, Tom's gun. Um, Cause I knew he had a, like a gun in the freezer or something like that. Right. And money and gun in the freezer. <laughs> <sighs> Does it, you have any specific 